Hi guys, today I've got a different video for you. I'm going to do a what's in my pencil case tag. So, to get started, I have three pencil cases I use depending on the occasion. This one I got when I was in primary school, so I don't really remember where I got it from, but it is a barrel style and it's suede, but it really lasted me a long. As you can see, uh, it has known a lot of love. This is where I have most of my supplies uh, concerning my planner. This one I use for, it's an Ispac one clearly, <laughs> and I use it for my card making and scrapbooking projects. And this one, the smallest one, I carry in my bag with me. Um, I've got only a few necessities and this pencil case I got from Barcelona, Spain. So I'll start with this one. Uh, which nowadays is the one used most often. I've got a small pencil with rubber on it. I love the pencils that have a gem on top. <laughs> They're really feminine. I do like them. I have a fountain pen. Again, this one I have since, I guess, high school, I think. I don't think you can find it anymore. I like it a lot because when you hold it from our body's temperature, it changes color to from green to a yellow, a light yellow, I think. Let's see, I have three pilots. Uh, these are the BPS. I have one in uh, black, red and blue, which I use to color code my expenses. And I have a few more colors. Uh, these are the Stabilo ones. I've got a neon pink, hot pink, purple one, deep red, light blue, green, and light purple. And this is everything I carry with me. I usually have a small sharpener, but I don't know where it is at the moment. Next, I'm going to show you what's in my Spark pencil case, which is one I use mostly for card making. I've got my Cutter B scissors, a Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue, I've got a bone folder, I've got a buffer to smooth the edges of the cardstock after it's being cut, I've got um, three brushes, if I remember correctly, yes. I've got three brushes for embossing or perfect pearls and watercoloring. I've got three uh, Sakura pens. Uh, this one is two glazed ones, a white and a blue one, and a souffle one. I've got this uh, Pilot G207 white one, which I, but I don't really like it because when you write in a dark cardstock, for example, after a minute the ink fades almost completely. I've got uh, a pencil, a stylus pen. <laughs> I've got, well, I've got a um, dotting tool that I sometimes use to um, score my cardstock. I've got a ruler, an exacto knife, blades, blades for my exacto knife, a rubber, which is really useful. and my um, comic multiliner in 0 0.3 and this one well i use it to move around sequins or hold them in place while they get well, while the liquid glue dries and that is all for this pencil case and in my last pencil case i have things uh in it still probably from high school but well, I hold on to them someday. I will either use them completely or throw them away. We'll see. <laughs> I've got four rubbers. Two, I think three. Yes, I've got three sharpeners in here. 
I've got um, three pencils. This uh, this one is a Faber Castell with a grip. I used to, I had multiple of these, and this is the last one left, but I haven't used it yet. I really like the fact that it had a rubber on top, so you didn't need to carry anything else with you. And I have two extras with the gems on top. I have almost finished the one with the green gem, and I've got two more. I've got two highlighters, pencil highlighters from uh, Stadler. This is in the hot pink, and this one, which is almost completely finished, it's the neon yellow one. I have two liquid Tipex correctors. These are my favorite ones from the liquid one. These are the, my favorite from the liquid ones. I have another, another uh, fountain pen. It's a Parker one. This one and it, it's uh, refillable, but it's empty right now. I've got another pencil. Uh, this one might be from even from primary school, but I really love it because it has a little horse and a little mouse on it. So I keep it. I've got a pink pencil one. They are the superb um, BK75 ones and I really love the way these write. As you can see the color is really beautiful. I have a typo one and I got it when I had gone to Sydney and I really like that it's um, eco-friendly and it writes beautifully I like the way the ink rolls of the brand I have a Pilot High Tech Point V5 Extra Fine well when I was in high school I used to carry all the colors with me now this, this is the only one that's left and it's uh, almost completely used but uh, until it runs out completely, I will keep it. I have another Parker one with, with the American flag. Again, I really like the inks the Parker ones have. The ink rolls of the ballpoint so nicely. I have another pencil pen, it's from the Line Style Collection and ah, it's, it hasn't run out yet. The ink rolls off nicely but it's not as good as, the, um, as these ones, the superb ones. I just like the design of this pen with the it's so feminine. Last one, I have this small one. I don't remember which brand was from, but and it's almost completely empty. But I keep it as a souvenir because I really like uh, the design. Uh, maybe I'll. I think a few years ago I had tried to find a refill and I hadn't. Maybe I'll try searching for one again. And last, I have a few post-it notes and a ruler. And that is everything in my last pencil case. I have two more pens in my pl planner and these are the big ones. They are multicolor. It has four colors. Um, this one it has the lighter colors and this one the darker. It has blue. Green. purple and pink and this one with the darkers again it has a darker blue a darker green a red and a black one 
and the last two uh, pens I have on my desk are erasable ones. I have this one from Pelican and this one from Pilot. Uh, from these two erasable ones, I like the Fixer one more and I'll show you how they write. Whereas the Pelican one and that are all my pencils and my pencil cases. As you've probably noticed, I don't carry many post notes or stickers with me. And that's because I carry them in a different zipped poker in my planner. I, if you want me, I can do a what's in my planner video next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye!